Okay, today on a dollar loom plus in between, today I'm actually going to do a loom, a rainbow loom one. And today I want to show you how to make um, a bracelet with actual beads on it. So you're going to need as much colors as you want for the rainbow loom. And beads, but not that many, um, and two pencils, and a C-clip. So, first, or an S-clip, S-clips work. Okay. So first, just choose a color, and remember to do the, remember to do it like, the first one like that. And then put two more over it. And then do that for a couple more times. After pulling, I started with blue first. So pull the blue over the two yellows. And then add one more. And then keep going like that for a couple more times. Okay, so after you do it a couple times, you can add your S clip to the bottom, which for me is blue. And just clip it on and let it let it hang. And then we're going to pick a bead. So I'm going with this pretty blue one. And we're also going to pick a rubber band. Now flatten your rubber band like this. And put it into the bead like this. Then put it on like that. It's going to look weird at first on the, you know, the thing, but, and then I like to do, and then you just pull the pink, or for me, pink one, over, and it's okay if it goes over the bead, but, and then do, then add more beads like we did at the then add more bands like we did first okay and then after i did a couple more times i'm just going to choose another bead and do the same exact thing except i want to use a different color Like that. Be careful that when you're trying, you're putting it on the pencils, that the bead does not come off. That's the trickiest part. And then you just keep going, just keep repeating the same steps over and over. And you can add as much colors and as much beads and how many bands and the length you need. On mine, I like to do two, two beads and then a little bit of space and then two more beads and then a little bit of space. I just think it looks cool.
Okay, so, um, I'm just trying to make it, you know, full on so it can fit around my um, wrist. Almost there. So, um, in comments, please let me know what you think of this video. And also, if you have any ideas for or tutorial you want me to do on this, and I will try to do that. Um, I'm not the best at this loom stuff. But, um, if you have any specific types of bracelets for here. So, also, for my friends here in the USA, happy Cinco de Mayo. Alright, almost done. Huge shout out to my froggy stuff, who is, I love her crafts, she does lots of videos, all the crafts are for dolls, but they're, you know, they're still crafts, and they're really fun to make, if you like to do that stuff, so, shout out to my froggy stuff, she also has a website, by the way, YouTube channel and a website, just look my froggy stuff up. Okay, so once you have it about where you can fit it on your wrist and you have two bands left, just pull the bands over each other like you would when you usually have three until you only have one band left. And then that, here comes the hardest part. Carefully take it off of the pencil by while holding the rubber band. I like to do it like this. And then you can clip it on. Be very careful. This is, to be honest, the hardest part. Okay, so this is how it should um, turn out. And some people I've seen, they do it with letter beads and they spell out their name and um, hopefully I can get a tutorial on that done. 